Hello. Like many, I'm a church musician that has many songs, books and books of them, folders and folders. And I would love a way not to have to carry around so many books, but to take them on my iPad. Wouldn't that be so much easier? So recently, I have been in contact with Jason at Onsong, and as an example, I've chosen a book from a holiday organisation of 54 songs to see how Onsong copes with sheet music. Okay, so this is the iPad and Onsong. If we go to the list of songs, you can see that I've imported a few more, 55 in total. So without the welcome song, my songbook of 54 songs is now in here and we can look at any song at all. All of them are sheet music. All of them were saved as TIFF images and imported through Dropbox. And what I have discovered is that the images need to be one long page rather than separate pages so you can scroll through the whole song. Many of the songs fit on just one page and that's fine. In sets you'll see I've made up as um, okay let me go back in books so I put all these in a songbook together but what I found is when you're in the songbook unlike a book you can't just skip to the next song so what I've done is created a set with all the songs in it and now that's easier you can just like in a book you can you can just flick the pages as you could in a book you can go up and down the song and to the next song down up back a song and you can go two songs from the bottom of the page top of the page anywhere it works really well I'm very pleased okay example let's say in sets three songs I've chosen for this evening cancel that I miss hit that one didn't I three songs okay some songs fit on one page so that's all there is to All Heaven Declares. I started off trying to squeeze the music as broad as possible on the page and then learnt that the bar, the on-song bar, which you can lose, is actually quite useful. So I've left enough space so that doesn't intrude. Come Now is the Time to Worship. Um, just another song. There's no reason to pick this one above others. Um, I think I was practicing scrolling with this one because you've got a line that repeats before you carry on. So if you want to set the speed a song scrolls, it gets difficult because by the time it gets down to the repeat bar, which actually is here, whoops, <laughs> let's go back on that one. By the time you get to the repeat bar, you're starting to lose the top line. So that the that doesn't always work ideally for sheet music. Um, let's look at this one. So what I did here, you'll see the little image I've put on the page so that when I'm playing the song, I know that I can take a rest from playing, playing guitar or flute where both hands are needed. Um, I think piano and drums and some other instruments you can get by with one hand but uh, some instruments you need both hands so you need a point at which you can take a pause and actually then hit the play button and it will then start scrolling at a suitable speed so people that want sheet music at the moment either have to play with it or f I think what I found is it's easier when you're in the song just to get to a, a point and let it travel down and then at the end of the song return to the top I think I'm finding 
pressing the top and bottom of the screen is as easy as starting a play button. OK, the sticky leaves a question open. With sheet music, it pretty much covers the screen. So these buttons and the stickies are in the way. Now the thing is, where can you move a sticky so it's not in the way? What, what might be useful, uh, perhaps I should put this in a request, is if in the configuration settings, but I didn't get that right, there. configuration, yeah, settings, there was some option in uh, perhaps song navigation for called sheet music display and what it would allow is that when you touch the center of the screen sorry let's do that again you touch the center of the screen to get rid of the on song bar stickies and possibly these buttons would go too when you press the middle they would return so you actually have the choice of reading a sticky and having it disappear, disappear with the on song bar uh, so with some little tweaks to cater for sheet music which covers the screen and needs scrolling other than that it is perfectly brilliant and works absolutely wonderfully so far with 54 songs um, be, let's go back to sets when I was creating the songbook set so that I have all the songs in the book that I can flick between I did get an error message saying well not an error, a warning because you have more than 32 songs it may not work so well so far with 54 it works wonderfully with a few thousand songs we'll see how it goes um, not that each book has that many but uh, so far 54 songs in on song and it's working really well with sheet music absolutely fantastic uh, this is version 1.9 thank you <laughs>